Hi, I'm James Spearman, and in this video, what I wanted to talk about is some product comparisons among Garmin avionics. And to start off, why would you choose one or the other? And my personal recommendations. To start with, the G5 versus the GI275. What is the difference? Well, they to start with, they look different. The G5 looks like a square puck. And they pack a big punch, and they're extremely reliable, and they're a great budget option. Uh, food for thought, they don't display traffic and weather and synthetic vision. But they take care of the essentials, which is um, attitude and navigation. So on your HSI. The GI-275 packs much more of a punch in a similar space package. These fit in the same round holes. It's not a puck that we have to cut uh, a hole out in your, uh, let's say, plastic overlay. And they can also give you attitude and your HSI, um, al altitude, airspeed, the whole nine yards, the essentials. Uh, but they also display traffic, weather, synthetic vision. And they are modular. So um, your dual kit takes care of the essentials, but then you can also add a engine monitor. You can add a uh, dedicated MFD, and you're just adding one screen per. So really neat product. Um, I, I personally love the GI-275s. If you're just looking for bare bones, let's um, get some glass in this plane. I would say the G5s are also great. Um, price difference, there, it's about a 46% you know, increase going from the G5s to the GI-275s just on the parts itself. The labor is about the same. But keep that in mind as you're setting your budget for your install. Um, from there, G3X versus G500. Now, they these are similar, as in they're both touchscreen and they pack um, a lot of bells and whistles into it. Um, differences are the G500 is a little bit more budget-friendly although it still is pricey. Um, the G500 is for your professional level aircraft. Think Cirrus, you can only put a G500 TXI in that aircraft. Um, any of the, uh, your 414s, 421s, any of those, um, you're gonna be looking at the G500s. Um, the G500 has, packs the most punch and has all of their bells and whistles and it's the latest on the market. Uh, truly a beautiful display and a great setup. Uh, but coming with about a 60% price increase just alone on the parts. So um, bear in mind when you're going and setting your budget for your aircraft. If you want the latest and greatest and the best, go G500. If you're looking for something that packs a great punch but is a little bit more budget friendly and you want to go to a modern cockpit, I would stick with the G3X if it's approved for your aircraft. And lastly, I wanted to go through, we all know, uh, the GTN 750XI versus the GTN 650XI. Uh, one's much bigger than the other. And you can add um, on the GTN 750XI specifically, it can control remotely your audio panel and your transponder. Uh, but they both are essentially the same thing. GPS, comm, nav, radios. So um, now the budget level navigators on that side are a little bit, um, they've got three different variants and they're great for budget. Um, you've got the GNC, the GPS, and the GNX. So the GNC 355, um, all of these look the same, um, but they're slightly different. All of them are a GPS navigator. Um, but the GNC 355 looks exactly the same, but you're getting a GPS navigator and a comm radio. The GPS 175 is just that, just a GPS navigator. And then the GNX 375 is a uh, GPS navigator and a transponder. So those fit really well into our budget categories where let's say you're just wanting to get the mid amount of glass in there. Um, so like dual G5s and one of those and one more comm radio and that can pack a great punch um, so 
I hope this video helps as you're planning the installation for your aircraft. If you have questions, please reach out www.spearmanaircraft.com. I'd be happy to go through this with you and build a quote uh, that fits your mission and your needs and your budget. Thank you and happy flying.